Hello and welcome to Sivan's SAP SD training in association with uh, AMB IT Services and Technologies. Today in this session, I would like to highlight or explain about the pricing changes between ECC and S4 HANA. Most of the people I have come across when during the interview processes, the, the SD consultants with about five plus years of experience they are unable to explain about the changes between ECC and S4 HANA. For them, as well as the uh, newcomers also, after seeing this video or recording, you will be able to explain about the pricing changes between ECC and S4 HANA. In a simple way, I have explained with the screen by screen, with the, the important screen prints about the ECC pricing and S4 HANA pricing, so that the same you can explain during your interview process which is a short video so that it will help you out a lot during your interview process whenever you encounter this question like explain about the pricing changes between ecc and s4 hana so we all know the pricing changes like ecc pricing table konv has been completely eliminated and it is replaced with the table PRCD underscore elements in S4 HANA. Even if you type KONV by mistake, it will take you to that. It is already obsolete and it will give you the PRCD underscore elements is the table, the appropriate table. So you will see the screen print of the same. We know that the condition table numbers are almost doubled in S4 HANA compared to ECC. In ECC, it was about 501 to 999 or 01 to 919 for the new implementations. However, now we can use letters as well, like 9WA to 9YY, for example. This means we have additional of 484 tables with us in the pricing procedure. If anyone, any client, they wanted to increase or in or, or create a new condition table, they can utilize from this list of condition, available condition tables. The access number in access sequence has been increased from two to three digits. Like now we can accommodate 919 tables, 999 tables into an access sequence. Earlier it was like only 99 tables we can accommodate in an access sequence. And all the 99 tables you can set up an exclusive indicator also for those 99. Now we have a provision of 999 tables so that all the 999 tables, if we maintain the pricing condition records, any as per the client's requirement, if at all, then we can set the indicator called exclusive indicator in the access sequence. We know what is meant by access sequence. Access sequence is a search strategy by which the system finds the valid condition record for the valid condition type. If it finds the valid condition record in the first instance itself, and then it will not go further, and then it will not try to find the, again, one more condition record because it is already found and it increases the system's performance. We all know that. It, it is like a, the same kind of access sequence uh, functionality, which is also available in S4 HANA. The document pricing procedure and customer pricing procedure lengths has been increased from one to two digits. It was earlier only one digit. Now we can use two digits to denote or to different uh, to uh, to create the new pricing customer pricing procedure or the uh, document pricing procedure with two digit alphanumeric key. The pricing requirements and formulas we know that very very important thing with for their length has been increased from three to seven digits. It was earlier only three digits. Now it has been increased to seven digits. The group condition routine length has been increased from two to seven digits in condition type control. Also, the condition counter length has been increased from two to three digits. So these are the major changes between ECC and S4 HANA. That is why S4 HANA is uh, uh, chosen or opted by the majority of the clients whenever they are they wanted to get into the uh, SAP industry. 
instead of ECC. Now, there is no ECC implementations, only S4 HANA implementations are happening. And whenever we are migrating to ECC, uh, S4 HANA from ECC, then we have to keep all these points in our mind. And then accordingly, we need to proceed further. Please do not think that you don't know or there are much tough, toughest or difficult changes have been uh, incorporated in S4 HANA. No, only few changes. And then these changes can be easily adaptable and NSD consultant easily can explain if, you, if he knows more about these functionalities, more about these changes. For those who have not seen the S4 HANA systems, I have captured the important screen prints for you all so that you can utilize the same and then you can remember the same screen prints in your mind and then you can easily explain them in your interview processes. So that is what my intention to make this video. You can see here, I have typed KONV in the tape in S4 HANA system. Then it has been taken to us and then it has uh, explained that conditions absolute replaced by PRCD underscore elements unless and until you type the table name as PRCD underscore elements, the system will not allow you to show the information about the pricing. In this pricing, even the currency also has been included in, in the latest version of S4 HANA. It was not there earlier, now it is available. And now there is no KONV table, it is completely uh, removed from the system. In S4 HANA system, only pricing PRCD underscore elements table only available. In this pricing procedure, you can see that we know that we have been already seen in the ECC pricing procedure, there were around 16 columns and we, we have seen the complete each and every field functionalities and how the pricing will be controlled with respect to each and every field or table that we have seen in our previous recordings. In S4 HANA, one more field has been included into the uh, 16 columns. That is now one more field is like relevant for account de determination. That is the one 17th column. So in this screen, even I have captured that you, have, you, can, you can see that the alternative calculation type, alternative condition, base value, the formulas has been increased from two digits to seven digits. Whereas the field is like relevant for account determination. So we can determine the, we can specify the uh, uh, relevant for account determination here itself. It is an optional thing. However, it has been included in the, included in the uh, standard pricing procedure. So this has been captured from the S4 HANA system. So you can, from this, while explaining during the interview process, you can also explain them that to your interviewer, that the 17th column has been included that is relevant for account determination. The rest of the things remains absolutely same and especially the counter has been increased from two to three digits as well as the alternative calculation, the formulas, alternative calculation type, alternative condition, base value that has been increased from two to seven digits. And this is the one, the configuration part, implementation guide part, where we can see in ECC, it was under the sales and distribution basic functions. A similar way here also, it is under the basic functions, pricing, pricing control. Here we have condition tables and field catalog. In ECC, we can directly see when we click on pricing control, we can be able to see that the defined condition tables, defined condition types, defined access sequences and assign, defined and assign pricing procedures. In S4 HANA, it is a bit different. This screen also you can remember. So that is why I have captured this uh, entire screen print for S4 HANA, how in S4 HANA it looks like. The, the consultants who have, SD consultants who have not seen these screens can easily remember them. And these differences, if you remember this uh, screen prints, then definitely you'll be able to explain what are the changes, the major changes have been happened between ECC and S4 HANA about the pricing. This is about the access sequence. In ECC, we have 
first let us explain let us see this the access sequence it was about only two digits we can only accommodate only 99 tables up to 99 tables in an access sequence whatever the client's requirements in ecc we can be able to accommodate only 99 tables more than that the system will not allow you to enter that is what in ecc whereas in s4 hana you can see that it has been increased to 999 tables that means three digits three digits, three digits means we can accommodate 999 tables. So as per the client's requirement, we can include the table numbers as well as you, you can set the exclusive indicator also. So that is what uh, S4HANA has uh, given the uh, best provision to us. That means sometimes more than 100 tables are also required sometimes in the big, big landscapes. So that time we can utilize them with the requirement for those countries, only those condition tables will come into the picture. So like that, we can accommodate. So we can use the requirement and then we can uh, include the coding part with the help of technical consultants and then we can utilize them. Here, the customer pricing procedure has been increased from one digit to two digits, two digits that means alphanumeric key. So as and when, as per the client's requirement, requirements, you can utilize them from um, alphanumeric or the only numeric numbers while, while implementing the customer pricing procedures. It has, this has been included in the customer master data. So we can do that. Whereas in as for in ECC, it was only one digit. We have already seen it. The document pricing procedure A normally we have seen in the ECC and customer pricing procedure we have seen one in the standard pricing procedure in the ECC system. Now we can see 01, 02 like that, it is available. So we can change it as per the client's requirement. This is how which is happening. And also, as we discussed, the counter has been increased from three digits, from two digits to three digits in S4 HANA. It was only two digits in ECC. These are all the major changes which have been happened in ECC and as for HANA pricing changes. So whenever you're attending the interviews, please explain these processes, these changes, keep these changes. That's why I have written uh, and I have maintained and I have highlighted those changes between ECC and S4 HANA. And if you explain the same during your interview process, even if you have not seen the complete system, if you understand and then if you are able to explain these uh, scenarios, that is more than enough. Thank you all. Have a nice day.